-hmm. Africa had 1.3 million elephants 50 years ago in the early 70s. And yet the latest census places them at between 340 and 370,000. It's an 80% drop in half a century. It's of concern. By far the biggest contributor of the decline of elephants is poaching, the illegal killing of elephants for their tasks. My name is Steve Jombe, the head of programs for IFO East Africa. We are at the Savo census counting the large mammals. The Savo conservation area is important because it is the biggest elephant habitat that Kenya has. When you combine it with the surrounding ranches, 49,000 square kilometers, it holds a third of Kenya's elephants. This is what we call a total area count, meaning that we're going to do transects that are one kilometer apart. One kilometer apart on 49,000 square kilometers requires a number of aircrafts. In this particular case, we've got nine aircrafts, eight from Kenya and one from Tanzania. No one person can do this exercise meaningfully because animals are dynamic, they move. So you want to do the census as quickly as possible. Looking around here at the teamwork, so many different organizations coming together, pulling together. That is how our elephants are going to be saved going into the future because the job of conservation is so huge, it requires all of us. My name is Martha Nzisa. I work for Kenya Wildlife Service. I'm a research scientist based at the Savo East National Park. Looking at today, our today's flight and count, it's different from all the ones I've done. It was a long day and there were elephants all over. Looking at our records, we have a very short period of recording, but we've really counted lots of elephants and circled a lot. Census aims to do two things. One, tell us about the numbers. Two, tell us about the distribution. When you get numbers distributed in a very small area, it indicates to you there's a problem. It's been known from history that elephants react to insecurity, especially insecurity occasioned by poaching, by congregating into large herds. There is security in numbers. So those are indicators of what might be happening on the ground. It is evident from the counts that have been done consistently from 2002 that the land outside is changing in terms of the critical corridors and the critical dispersal areas. They have been eaten up. The tragedy about human population development is that we've detached ourselves from nature. We do not associate our ability to breathe, our ability to drink water, our ability to eat with protecting nature. Elephants are a keystone species. Behind the conservation of this iconic species is the conservation of biodiversity, is the provision of life support systems for human beings because if the habitat for elephants and other species is protected, then it provides the life systems that are needed for us to breathe, to eat, to drink. <laughs>